Do you often question how far away you should be standing from the golf club in your setup? If so, stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is gonna be one about our setup position. It's a really important thing that influences our golf swing, and I'm gonna go on to the difference between the iron and the driver, and give you a really simple tip to make sure you're in the right setup position, and ultimately standing the right distance away from the golf ball with your irons and with your driver. So I'm gonna be picking on a couple of clubs here. I'm gonna go for a mid iron and a driver. And I'm gonna go through a really simple tip to make sure you're in the right setup position for both these clubs and what you can do to check about it when you're next on the golf course. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, I'm gonna get you to do the same with both clubs here, is I'm gonna get you to open your feet as wide as your shoulders. I'm gonna get you to stand nice and tall, so with your legs locked and your spine up. I want you to hold the golf club, so grip the golf club correctly first and then you're just gonna lift your arms up so the club is pointing in front of you. And what we're looking for is a softening of the knees. So we're just gonna go from legs are locked to legs are just softened so they're not straight. So we're just softening our knees here. We're gonna bring our arms down so the back of your elbows there just touches your chest and then you're gonna be tilting forwards from your hips. So I'll go through that again. You're gonna stand upright. You're gonna soften your knees just so they're not locked. You're gonna bring your arms down just so they touch your chest. So the back of your, just above your elbow, the back of your arms there touch your chest. So soften knees, arms down to hit the chest, and then tilt forwards from your hips. And what you'll see from the down line view here is it looks like my arms are just naturally hanging straight down from my shoulders. So there is no outward stretch here, but I have enough room to swing the golf club. I don't want to start being too close, too tight in here, or ultimately getting my arms stretching out away from me. Golfers who get their hands too close feel very cramped. So they've got to create room by either getting this sort of movement in the back swing or getting their arms out away from their body. Golfers who start with their arms too stretched here really locks their forearms and they'll tend not to get the right wrist set in the back swing. So it's important that we get that same setup position. With the driver, it's very much the same thing. So if I go through the same routine, feet shoulder width are a little bit wider with the driver, grip the golf club, bring the club up in front of me. I'm just gonna soften my knees so they are not locked. That's not bending my knees, that's just softening my knees. Arms down till they hit my chest here and I'm gonna tilt forwards from my hips. Now what you'll see from the downline point of view is my arms are slightly further away from my body than they were with the iron. So my arms were hanging straight down with the iron. With my driver, they're just slightly in front of me. Again, not extreme, but slightly in front of me. That is just the length of the golf club, meaning I don't need to tilt quite as much from my hips. There is a slight change there, but it's a slight change. So once I've got that setup position, I could just check, I tend to, when I'm in my setup, and you might well have seen on my channel, tend to check for a stretched hand span, four finger gap from the end of the club to my body. Now I do that before I actually get into my setup position. So I do that here, because I know that is a good gauge for me without going through that same setup routine. But there was a fantastic uh, Scottish tour player who played on the European tour under the name of Gary Orr. And he used to do this every time. He would start bolt upright, soften his knees, arms down to his chest and tilt forwards. And that's what gave me the idea and had this fantastic posture. And he just looked the same distance away from the golf ball every time. So I think once you've got that, I'm not saying you have to go through that routine each time, but once you're in that setup position, you can feel what that is like. You can take pictures of that. You can see that in the mirror. You can get a gauge of what kind of gap that means there is from the end of the club to your body. But if you can get your setup position more consistent with the iron and the driver, it's definitely gonna help get your pressure correctly, heels, toes, and that's also gonna affect your swing path and the speed and the input that you can put into it. So the setup position is absolutely vital here. And we want to see that setup position. I would suggest with, I'm gonna hit an iron here, that I could get that feeling of what that was like for me inside the ball. S upright, soften my knees, arms down to my chest, tilt forwards. With the irons, it's nice and simple. It just feels like my arms 
are naturally hanging from my shoulders and I can check that just by allowing my trail hand to fall off the golf club and go loose. It's falling back onto the club where I was before. So I could just creep in to recreate that. Now I know with an eye in there, if I check for about a hand span gap, that puts me the right distance away to get into that same setup position again where my arms are hanging quite naturally and that feels comfortable for me to go ahead and pull the trigger And that felt like I was the right distance away to give me the solid contact that I was really looking for. And very much the same with a driver. Nothing's changing here. I'm slightly, my arms are slightly more stretched from my body, but that's only because of the length of the golf club. So again, if I got that same sensation, soften my knees, arms down, tilt, I'll get that same sensation of where my arms are, just slightly stretched from my body not hanging quite as much down as they were with the iron, but definitely not out here. I look, feel in quite an athletic setup position, like I'm ready to hit the ball and my pressure feels very even. Let me go ahead and pull the trigger with the driver. That's the one. Straight down the middle there, about on the bridge. Not normally a hole I'd hit driver on, you nearly run out of room, but that felt very, very good at setup, like I was in a position that I could actually put the swing on it that I really wanted. If you do struggle with the distance you are away from the golf ball, I hope this video has helped you, it should do. Practice it at home, check it in a mirror or on video, uh, get someone to get you on, a, you know, on your video with your, your mobile phone, a picture of you, check that setup position. I know it's gonna look are very different to what it feels to you if you've been somebody who's been stretching out or too close. If this has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel as well for all the other content every Tuesday and Thursday, as well as some Saturday specials. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.